Hello everyone, welcome to another GPO video and I don't want to be in this place or island for a while now because it's a little bit boring now, I'm level 14, there isn't that much things to do so let's go ahead and talk about what you can find in this island because why not? So let's start off with, of course, um, things you can get. You can get yourself shovel right over there, which only cost 50 belly. Like, I'd not recommend you to get that. I thought it was a weapon, so I bought it, and it was not a weapon. It was just a shovel, and shovel it was. Next one is going to be things right here. You're going to see a, a hammer. This one is, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. You've bought a hammer, let's go to our inventory, and as you can see here, it's a hammer that can be used along with wooden planks to repair ships. So literally, if you get yourself a ship, I'm gonna get the cheapest chi ship, not the 2000 one. Go ahead and click that, let's buy a rowboat, for example. And I think you spawn it, uh, spawn it, spawn, spawn, and I'll just equip another ship. I just bought myself a- okay, oh yeah. There's the boat. Equip it. As you can see, 100, 0 out of 100. I'm gonna go ahead and ship can't be spawned. Try to spawn up somewhere else. Can't be spawned here. Wait, can't, there. As you can see here, this is our ship. And pretty much, this is what it looks like. I particularly um, do not like the ship at all because it's slow. But we have nothing else to do. Now, if somebody use a cannonball, because there's a health on this, 100 out of 100, as you can see. Now, if somebody shoots it, you can actually repair it. And the way that you can repair this is go to your inventory, use your hammer, click on the hammer, you equip it, you get yourself some planks. This is wooden planks. You get 15 wooden planks for 50 pelly. You get that. You get us if if you have broken, you can just do this, or you have to interact in some ways to repair your boat. And as you can see, when you're holding the uh, the hammer, there's gonna be a GUI showing that you have 15 times wooden plank. So that's that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and unequip this. Now let's go to the other stuff. You're gonna see um, this here. This is a shotgun cannonball. This is used if you have a boat that has a cannonball inside or if you have any cannon, uh, like the gun, the cannon gun, then this one is for you. Now it costs 500 and I only have 844 and there are things that I really truly want to buy. Next one is a normal cannonball, and this one's a lot more cheaper than the red one. If I do remember correctly, when I watched One Piece, there was a red cannonball that comes from Buggy's cannon. If I remember that correctly, but that one w had Buggy's face. Now this one here is 175, you can see the difference between them. This is 500, and that's 175. The next and last item that's, uh, that Mark Juan sells is this snail here. Now what is what this is is it's a denden mushi. Let's go ahead and buy it so that I can explain what it does. And pretty much it's a device that allows you or is a device used to call people across the sea. You can literally equip it and then use it. So you have to put a player's name. For example, if I just click these and I want to send message to um let's see anyone's fine <laughs> i don't want the most complicated name ever like come on is any one of you have no complicated name okay let retro kill 20. there's one retro kill 20. oh player does not have then then equip so you, it, both players have to have then then equip and then they can talk each other using the voice chat which is a better feature so that's one good thing i'd say so 
And if you are playing with a friend that is far away and this is the only communication method that you can do, then yeah, sure, why not? And do that. And if you're the type of person that probably are talking to strangers, then this is one of the things that is used to communicate with them without giving other more information such as a Discord or uh, other communication apps or software. So this one here is just through the game, so you don't need to give so much info about that. Also, you need to be 13 plus to be able to use the communication thing here. And I guess uh, since it's a snail phone, the only way you can communicate is through calling each other or sending like message i guess if that's what the feature is i can't test it out right now unfortunately i will be able to test it later on when i do have the time so that is den den mushi let's go ahead and roam around the island so that you can get to know a little bit more about it because i kind of know a little bit more about it so if you do now let's go with the next one which is going to be shop so there's um there's one more shop in this place that sells something and that is this shop right over here you're gonna see this shop this shop has a staircase and you're gonna find lily downstairs now lily is gun shop owner by purple lover and the moment you get down here you're gonna hear a different sound or music in your ears now, if you talk to Lily, he's gonna say, I'm the gun seller at this town. If you're interested in my gun, please buy. Or something like that. I can't really read fast. Uh, you're gonna see the two guns right over here. It's number one, it's a pistol, 175. And the other one is a rifle, which costs 300 pelly. Now, I want both of them because I am a collector. And I will literally collect any weapons that are in the game. Would you like to purchase rifle for 300 pelly? Of course I would want to. Now we have bought two items, a pistol and a rifle. Now the only thing that's left for us is bullets if the game does has a bullet mechanism and not just a gun with empty shells. Let's go into the inventory. Let's go ahead and equip this and see if you can use it without any bullets. Number one, that would be very disappointing if you can use a gun without any bullets. And as you can see there, you can use the gun without any bullets, so you don't need bullets. But you do need cannonballs for your ship. So that should be the guns. There's two types of guns, the pistol and rifle. If you're interested in looking at them, I can just go ahead and show it to you. This is what the rifle looks like. Ugly IF. Sorry about that. And this is what the pistol looks like. For those who are curious, and for those who are unable to buy. Next one and the last thing that I'm going to talk about is of course. Let's see what we can talk about. Um, The chill place. So if you're kind of bored and you don't want uh, to do anything. You can just sit here. Hear some music and just chill with Lion Pride right over here. Unfortunately, there's nothing like buy drinks or talk to this guy type of thing. It's just... It's just here. It's just a part of the island. It might as well use it. Next, and probably my last um, thing to talk about is chest. If you remember correctly, at that hut right over there, I found myself a chest, and that's a single chest. And I found out in the Wikipedia, is I've been searching a little bit about the game, because no information means that I'm dumb. Which is why I use information. Now as you can see here, there's a chest, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and open the chest and I should get some cash in it. And now this is not the only chest in this island. There's two more chests. However, I cannot get into contact with them. The reason for this is because they're too far away from me and I'm unable to open them. I need to be in close proximity to the chest to be able to unlock them. And where to find it is at the top of this thing here. So I'm just going to show you one of the chests. I don't want to go all the way around the other side. Just so that I can show you the other chest. You should already know there's three chests. And that's on the other side. When I looked at the peak top of this castle. Let's go ahead and go over to that there. So that you can see it. Oh. If I fall down there I'm going to be dead dead. There you go. 
I like the sun animation, I can lie. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of there. And as you can see here, you're gonna see a chest. And there's another chest on the other side. If you can look properly, there should be one over there. There, as you can see there, a little thing there. That's another chest. So there's literally three chests. The reason why I can't get up here is because I just can't. There's no other way to go up than this way. I think you need Gepo. The game has Gepo. I've not explored the whole thing. I've not gotten myself a lot of info. I just got enough info for me to understand the first island. So, yeah, that should be literally everything that I need to say. If you have any question about the islands, hopefully I now can able to answer them. And this is going to be the last thing that I am going to say. Last thing, okay? You can leave if you want to, but if you're the type of person, okay? If you're the type of person that's really into knowing the experience points and how much catch you'll get out of the quest and out of the mobs, I have a Trello that I have made myself because I don't really like it that I don't get those very detailed um, questions that I really want, but... For now, I will be able to answer a few of them. So let's start with the, the first quest, of course, Sarah's. Sarah's quest gives you 5 experience points and 25 money. Daph's quest gives you uh, 60 experience points and 50 money. However, with the 5 bandits that you kill, in total, you will get 85 experience points and 75 money. The next one and the last quest is, of course, Ronnie here. With him, with his quest, you should get 80 experience points and then 75 money. However, with both, uh, with killing the boss, you should get in total. 100 experience points and 100 money so that very very little detail there that i tell you that is just literally for type of person like me who wants to get something such as detailed as that getting to know the experience points of your quest and the money that is very important for me so yes um thanks for watching and bye